Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at three Arsenal legends joined Spotify founder Daniel X bid to buy a club and then we're going to look at Julian Brandt already telling Mikel Arteta how to unleash him at Arsenal amid transfer decision. So the first news headline states that three Arsenal legends joined Spotify founder Daniel X bid to buy a club. So the reports are stating that Spotify founder Daniel Ek has recruited three Arsenal legends as he prepares to try and buy the club from under pressure owner Stan Kroenke, according to reports. While fans were protesting against the American billionaire's running of the club on Friday, Daniel Ek, who is estimated by Forbes to be worth £3.4 billion, made a declaration on Twitter that he was interested in taking over the Gunners. As a kid growing up, I have cheered for Arsenal as long as I can remember, the Swedish entrepreneur wrote. If KSC would like to sell Arsenal, I'd be happy to throw my hat in the ring. Far from merely throwing his hat in the ring, Daniel Ek now appears to be ramping up his takeover bid and according to The Telegraph, he has teamed up with three former Invincibles to help him. Thierry Henry, Dennis Bergkamp, and Patrick Vieira are all working with Daniel Ek on his bid to take control of Arsenal and the trio could also be handed roles at the club if the move is successful. All three Arsenal legends have expressed desires to return to North London in the past and the Spotify CEO feels their knowledge of the club and fanbase is invaluable to his plans. A formal offer is expected imminently though Josh Kroenke, who is a director at Arsenal, made it clear at a fans forum last week that KSC have no intention of selling the club. Thierry Henry, Arsenal's record scorer, was critical of Kroenke's ownership of the club over the weekend and their descent down the table. With the side potentially missing out on European qualification this season and says he hardly recognises the Gunners anymore. This club belongs to the fans. I love the club and I'll support the club until I die, but I do not recognise my club and what happened just now. With them trying to join a league that would have been closed makes no sense to me, the Frenchman told The Telegraph, criticising their decision to sign up to the European Super League. They have been running the club like a company, not a football club, and they showed their hand. Maybe it's a lack of understanding of the core football values and maybe the money was too big of a temptation but whatever it was, they got it wrong, badly wrong. So it looks like three Arsenal legends are going to join Spotify founder Daniel X bid to buy the club. And it looks like Daniel Ek is very serious about buying Arsenal from Stan Kroenke as Stan Kroenke is under lots of pressure from Arsenal fans and Daniel Ek has used this opportunity to be a suitable runner to try and buy Arsenal. And he's going in the right direction in terms of my opinion because he's got three invincibles on his side as well making sure they all get roles at the club if he becomes the new Arsenal owner. So you have to wait and see how this pans out and this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that Julian Brandt has already told Mikel Arteta how to unleash him at Arsenal amid transfer decision. So the reports were stating that Borussia Dortmund star could become an option for Arsenal once again as the Gunners look to bolster their creative midfield options in the summer transfer window. Borussia Dortmund are considering selling Julian Brandt this summer. That is according to reports in Germany as Bild reported last month that the decision makers at the Signal Iduna Park will be open to letting the Germany international leave if an offer of 25 million euros, 21 million pounds arrives. Furthermore, the report states that incoming Dortmund head coach Marco Rose will have the final say on Julian Brandt's future as if he does not consider the attacking midfielder to be a part of his plans, he could be well on the move in the summer. Julian Brandt still has more than three years left on his contract with the Bundesliga outfit following his move from rivals Bayer Leverkusen in the summer of 2019. The possibility of Julian Brandt being available could alert Arsenal who are interested in signing the attacking midfielder in the January transfer window. Instead, the Gunners opted to sign Martin Erdegaard on loan from Real Madrid. However, 
if they can't extend the Norwegian stay at the Emirates Stadium, McLaurin Tetzer and Eddy will be on the lookout for a creative midfielder and should Julian Brandt become a target again, they have already been told how to unleash the 24-year-old. In the past, Julian Brandt has operated as a lone striker, currently during his time at Bayer Leverkusen but his most preferred position is a number 10 role behind the centre forward. Although, since joining Dortmund, Brandt has found himself more at home in midfield as he looks to pull the strings and make things happen in the attacking third. Speaking in an interview with German publication Sport Build back in December 2019, Julian Brandt said, For me, it's optimal. I feel really good there. I waited a long time to be able to show what I can do in the middle. When I played up top, I was also in a central position, but playing as a striker wasn't easy for me. I'm not a player like Romelu Lukaku. I wouldn't say I was in a slump before, but I sense that I'm on my way back to my old strength and feel really good on the pitch. Judging by what Julian Brandt has said, he would love to operate a central position and that just so happens to be one of the areas in which Arsenal are looking to bolster this summer. The German international has been in and out of the Dortmund side this season and has weighed in two goals and two assists in 28 Bundesliga appearances. At £21 million, he could be a cheap alternative to Martin Odegaard, but will the Gunners reignite their interest in the midfielder? So it looks like Julian Brandt has already told Mikel Arteta how to unleash him at Arsenal amid transfer decision. And it looks like the Borussia Dortmund star has become an option once again for Arsenal as the Gunners look to bolster their creative midfield options in the summer transfer window. And in my eyes, I see Julian Brandt as a possible alternative to Martin Erdegaard, but will he be able to adapt to the Premier League or will he come in and be sensational? So we have to wait and see if Julian Brandt could be a success at Arsenal if they sign him. But other than that, guys, remain blessed. Stay tuned to the next video and peace.